Well, it's that time of year again. Your um, UV uh, light bulb needs to be replaced. Um, if this is your first time doing it. Um, this is for a, a Sterilite. Um, every year there's like a counter on the ballast that uh, counts down from 365 days. Right now it's um, re reached its cycle. There's an A3 alarm. That just means that the um, bulb is ready to be replaced. Um, is the bulb still working? Yes. I'm not really sure why every year you should, they say to replace them. Um, it's probably just a money thing, but maybe the bulb does, you know, loses its glow or something as much. So every year I replace it. It's about 100 bucks. You should go do the expensive one and not the cheap one. Just because uh, I once did cheaped out for like 30 bucks, and within a month the bulb popped. And I got a different alarm. So um, with this it's pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple steps. You're going to need, uh, basically, you're just going to need your light bulb. Um, this is what it looks like in the box. I got this off Amazon. Say roughly $100. Um, and then um, you need a bucket to catch the water. I have that underneath my setup right now. Uh, maybe pliers, depending on how tight the uh, fittings are. And if the bulb doesn't come with them, um, two new gaskets. But I think most bulbs come with those gaskets. Alright, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to unplug the uh, light right from the ballast. So that's right here. This is your ballast. That's the thing that's making noise. Alright, so we unplug that. Now we valve off our water. There should be um, properly installed units. We'll have two valves. So you valve those off. Inlet and outlet, as I do. Um, and after that, you're going to unscrew the bottom. Water shouldn't come out yet. If the water comes out, there's an issue. As you can see here, you're going to get a spring, a little plastic thing. Uh, that's just a cap on there, I think, just to check to see if the light bulb is still going. Now, I know this light bulb is good because the there hasn't been any water flowing through here, and the uh, cylinder is hot, so, you know, radiant heat. So now we're just going to, all right, so I feel the light bulb on the top part. There's a little clip that you can just pull out with your fingers. I'm on fingers. And that lifts the, um, the housing up. Now you just want to pull that off. And then because of how my setup is, I have to drop it out the bottom. And here's your light bulb. Here's the old one. Later on, I'm going to have gloves to put the new light bulb in, just because, you know, your hands, oil's on your hands. I don't know if you're supposed to touch these light bulbs or not because of how hot they get, or if they do get hot. So I figure, you know, just a nice little not touching them. You're not supposed to throw these directly in the garbage. You're supposed to take them to the center. Right now, I have a box full of the old ones, just because there is mercury in these. So be careful. That and if it breaks or something like that, make sure you wash your hands. I probably should be using gloves the entire time because of the potential for uh, mercury exposure. But next time. Okay. So this is wet. I mean, this is dry. So that's a good thing so far. Now, I'll take you off here to show you. Now, I always like to have an extra one of these on hand just to be just to be sure, but I'll flip you up. This, uh, see this? This is uh, this is the sleeve that it goes in, and the water is between this sleeve and um, this pipe. So when I just by twisting it a little bit, oh, that's true. Maybe I have to. Right, I got I got to loosen the top uh, one. It's the same thing on top as it is on bottom. This is probably actually due for a new one soon. It's starting to rust a little bit. Maybe I'll get one of those. But alright. Let me uh let me loosen up the top and then um 
I'm just going to massage this back and forth. Eventually all the water in here is going to fall out. Then I can get to this. Now the reason why I want to get to this is because, I mean, I'll show you, but there's going to be, um, you know, just like dirt grime on the outside of it. So I want to clean that off to make it all nice to bum. Because the idea of this is you want as much light to shine through this as possible to hit the water to kill off any of those microbes. Alright, so the top screwed right off, just like the bottom did. Um, so right now, I'm just going to push up a little bit. And you can control how much water comes out at a time. A lot of water in here, believe it or not. But by doing this, they want to save these O rings just to be sure, because you don't know if, you know. The new one's going to have it or not, I haven't really checked yet. So, that makes me nervous. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. Eh, maybe I'll be good for next year. Alright, so now we take this out. Now, I've actually seen this a lot worse, but. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but there's like an orange um, film on there. I got a new water softener recently, so, like, I guess, well, actually last year. So maybe that's why this is a lot better than it was in previous years. Like, I, if I knew it was going to be this good, I probably wouldn't have uh, done it. But I guess maybe on the fingerprints you can see a little more. So, but since it's out, I'm going to um, say paper towel, wipe it off. Um, I might throw a pa you know, run a paper towel through here, just for fun, and then um, and then I'll throw this back up. I'm going to tighten up the two ends, and I'm going to fill it up with water. I do that before I put the light bulb in, just to make sure that everything's nice and sealed tight. So let me um, let me just go and uh, wipe this clean, because you know it's just wiping it down, and then uh, I'll be right back. Here's the new box. And inside you have instructions, which I've done before, so I don't need to read these, but they, it does come with them. And it comes with your light, wrapped in a nice bubble wrap. And also included in the bubble wrap are the two new gaskets. Now, since they give you two new gaskets, you might as well use them. You don't want this leaking um, earlier than... You know, er earlier on in the year. I only like to do this once. So, new, two new gaskets. Or O-rings. I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put this back in the box. For now. Alright, so now, we're going to feed this up. We're going to screw the two tops on. Um, with the gaskets installed also. And then we're going to pressure test it, which just means we're going to um, open up our valves and we're going to run some water through there. Then we're going to, you know, through the system, open it up a drain, pro probably on the highest part of the house. So this way we can purge out all the air from the lines. And then after that, we're going to come down here. We're going to, you know, when we shut off the water, we make sure it's not wet or leaking. Once that happens, then we can uh, install the light bulb. But first things first. goes up. Now we want to, there it is. Your gasket. Alright, so how I do this normally is with the top one, 
Now this is the top screw, right? You know that because it doesn't have that plastic piece in. I put the glass a little bit higher than I'm supposed to, and then I put the gasket all the way down. So the reason why I do that is I put the gasket on, I mean I put the cover on, and that's going to push the gasket where it needs to be. Tighten that up. Right, my gloves are good. I got these are pretty good gloves also from Amazon. All right now the bottom. Let me put that in there as close as possible. Now considering these can fit. I'm going to take this plastic piece out now. Um, I think the plastic piece just helps for efficiencies. This way the light has to stay in like self-contained or something. I don't know. That or might be like a safety thing. Because uh, UV light's not good for your eyes. So you shouldn't be looking at this light bulb. So a helpful hint there. Maybe with sunglasses. <laughs> there we go. So now, this is the plastic piece I was telling you about with the uh, spring. So now we go we tighten this up. So technically right now, well not technically, in reality, this pipe is sealed off. Like this is now a pressure, this is now a self-contained vessel. It's tight. Now, I don't know if there's a preferred way of filling it up, but I, you know, one valve at a time. Slowly. You don't want water hammers. Alright, now, uh, now that we're pressurized, luckily everything looks to be okay. I don't see any water dripping out of it, so that's a good sign. Now I'm going to open the top. That releases it back into the system. Now I'm going to go upstairs to a faucet, turn it on, bleed all that air out, watch to make sure that when water flows through it, it's not leaking, then turn it off and make sure it's not leaking still, and then we're pretty much okay. Now we're ready for the final uh, step. All right. So, here's your bulb. Now, the, um, the bottom of this has different levels to it. Well, I'll explain what I mean here. I mean, I'm sure if you're changing this out, you understand, but maybe you're watching this before you do it. Um, you see how there's different levels to this? So, that, um, that's for polarity and everything else. So you want to make sure, so if it's not going in right, that's what's, you know, you have to kind of fiddle around with it. The problem is, is this fits pretty tight. Um, so if it starts going a little bit, and you're not sure yourself, you, you probably have it going the right way. And the other problem is, is this is cupped a little bit, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Especially with my setup, because of how high it is. I mean, so... I'm still not, I'm going to try still not really to touch the glass, so I'm, you know, I'm only really touching the rubber parts. But we're going to feed this up from the bottom to the top, and then we're going to lift it up in the top, and then we're going to start playing around with it. We're going to plug it in, and then um, all that's left is resetting the ballast, and we're done. So let's get started. Feed it up through the bottom. We're feeding, we're feeding, we're feeding. Alright, now we have it up top. Alright. Now. Alright, oh, I can see it a little better. Alright, so now, like I said, it's not. This isn't easy. I mean, probably if I had a ladder. Oh, there we go. 
I guess it's starting to age a little bit. All right, so now that it's in, we're going to pop this down. And then that, remember that pin we took out? I'll show you actually. All right. There's like a retaining clip right here. Pretty sure you can see it, right? Let me do it. Let me go from here. All right, so there's the. See that clip right here? You just got to put that in. What that does, push that in. What that does is it. You got to make sure it's flat first. What that does is it locks this in place so it doesn't pop off. All right, I'm going to plug this in now, the ballast. So when you plug the ballast in, it's still going to read A3, that alarm. There's a little button on the side. You push that in while you plug it in. And it says reset. And you let go, and it's um, the counter's back to 365. Oh, I'm trying to look for my little plastic piece. Oh, here it is. Just got to put that little plastic piece up top, you know, inside the bottom. Or whatever that does. And we're done. So, that's about it. It's not horrible painful. It's just kind of annoying once a year. You got to do that. That and, you know, spending 100 bucks for uh, clean water. But, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to get um, answer them in the best of my abilities. And um, you have a good one. And good luck. Thanks. Bye.